the candle itself is just a sexy candle. So I do want to say, of course, I'm rocking my glasses today, as you guys can tell. I wear glasses every day, pretty much. And um, I usually wear my contacts for videos just because I don't like the glare from the lights. When I'm editing, it kind of distracts me. But today I was just like, I'm not in the mood to be fooling with my contacts because my contacts and my eyeballs, they be beefing sometimes, y'all. They don't get along sometimes. And um, I didn't want to fool with that today. So, <laughs> So today is glasses, Keisha. You got me in my normal day-to-day -day look. This video is all about inexpensive candles that you can find at Target um, because I love Bath & Body Works just as much as the next person, but $22.50 for a candle is a bit much and it adds up very quickly. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna be getting my Bath & Body Works candles but usually when they're on sale, <laughs> not at the regular price. Um, but anyway, let's get on with this video and get to smelling some really good scents here. First, I wanna mention Chesapeake Bay candles. You can find these at Walmart and also Target. I got mine from Target. They range in price from $6.99 to I think $10.99 um, or $9.99. And they have a lot of different scents. They have teak wood, caramel, 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 which one do you guys say? <laughs> Comment below and let me know. Caramel latte, almond macaroons. And yes, that was macaroons, not macaron. Macaron was macaroons. I'm not pronouncing that correctly. But the one that I liked was the bourbon pumpkin scent. And this is just a single wick candle, but you get a good amount in an 11.5 11 ounce jar. Um, and I thought maybe they should have made it a two wick, but maybe that would have burned the, the wax just a little too quickly. So one wick is probably best, especially because it narrows at the bottom. So yeah, but this reminds me a lot of the pumpkin cupcake scent from Bath and Body Works. It smells really good, nice and yummy. Um, it kind of has like a baked good scent to it, um, but you do get the pumpkin as well. So I believe this one was $9.99. Moving on to Opal House. This is some a brand that is very popular at Target. And I want to show this particular candle that I bought like a little over a week ago. And you guys, we've been burning it almost every single day. <laughs> so it is almost gone. And it is a three wick candle. Look at that. We've been burning it almost every single day, you guys. I'm not kidding. Um, but yeah, this is the candle. Nice and pretty, you know, pretty size. And it's a slightly bigger than a Bath & Body Works candle. Slightly bigger. Um, but cheaper. This was only $10, you guys. $10 at Target. And this scent is the Coconut Campfire by Opal House. And it's with toasted marshmallow and embers. And um, I'm going to mention embers in another candle later on, but it's slowly becoming a scent that I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, this, this candle smells so good, you guys. It reminds me of Marshmallow Fireside. So if you are a Marshmallow Fireside person, this is a good dupe for the Bath and Body Works one. Um, but yeah, it's Coconut Campfire. It smells so good, you guys. So, so good. And it was $10. And um, we, like I said, we've been burning this almost every single day. The one similar to this one, I could not find in the store today. I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know if people just came through and bought a bunch of them. I don't know. Um, but I could not find this particular one or the other scents in the store anymore. So I don't know what happened. Maybe they got purchased. I mean, it is Target. Things come and go very quickly in Targets. But they have a bunch of other um, candles for Opal House there as well. Um, some of the fragrances they have are Peppermint Snow, Sugared Cinnamon, and Pomegranate Fizz. Um, Pomegranate Fizz, I really like that one. That's a good scent if you are not really someone who's into the holiday scents and stuff, uh, the baked goods type of scents. The pomegranate fizz is kind of more of a, a, a light fruity scent to it. Um, so it's good for that if you are not into the typical um, holiday scents. 
um, you may want to try out pomegranate fizz. I really like that one. Now moving on to the Threshold brand, which is a staple at Target. Um, they have so many candles, you guys. They have so many candles, different looks, different vibes. It just depends on what you're into. And I found such a big variety there. Um, the ones that I'm gonna show on screen here, these are, I was so tempted to get some of these candles, but I, I refrained, but I was so, so tempted. These have a wooden wick. These are soy candles and they have such a pretty, um, very classy look to them. Um, they have leather and embers. That was a really, really good scent. I really like that one. It's very masculine. So if you have a, your husband has a man cave or something like that, this would be a good scent for him as well as rose and cedar, um, fennel and pine. Those scents are very masculine, but very clean and, um, very inviting as well. So you don't have to have a man cave though. If you're a lady and you like those scents too, I would definitely get them. Um, the wooden wick adds an extra flair too. It makes it kind of romantic and sexy to have that wooden wick. And I thought that that was really cool. Um, Acai Berry was my favorite. I didn't want it to be, but it was. <laughs> it smelled so inviting and it was, smelled like it just smelled like, um, I don't even know how to describe it really. It was like fruity, but it was also grown and sexy. And it was also warm and inviting and just very smooth, smooth and, and just, yeah, fruity and just kind of romantic. I really liked it. So now that I'm thinking of it and I'm talking about it more, I may actually go back and get it because I really, really enjoyed that scent. Um, and they also had like rosemary and linen and I just, the candle itself is just a sexy candle. Really nice candle. They also have it in a single wick as well. So, um, and these uh, range from $12 to $17. And so that large three wick one is $17 which is pretty freaking good. Um, these other candles are some more of their threshold candles. They had some larger uh, pillar type candles, which I thought were really cool and very, very inexpensive. So that's a good option for you if you are into pillar candles. Those can be great um, to set a vibe and a mood. They're great around a fireplace if you happen to have a fireplace. So you may wanna consider those. Um, moving on to some other threshold candles, Ones that I really thought were, um, oh, those pillar can, the pillar candles are $18, by the way, which is a good, the largest one, that three wick large pillar candle, $18. Yes, $18. That's not bad at all for a candle. So, um, yeah, if you are into those types of candles, definitely stop by Target. I almost got the Macintosh and pumpkin scent in this particular one, um, but I decided last minute not to get that one. Um, but it smelled so crisp, like a like an apple, Macintosh apple. Not so much pumpkin though, but it definitely had the Macintosh apple scent to it. And that's probably why I didn't get it because it didn't really have the pumpkin. It wasn't as strong of a scent of pumpkin. Um, but they had a lot of great options in this candle, several different sizes as well, ranging from like $3 to $10. So that's pretty good for some candles. Um, but this one I did get, and this one was 5.5 ounce candle for $3. And this is the charcoal and black teak candle. Haven't burned it yet, but um, this smells so good, you guys. To me it does. It's kind of grown and sexy. It kind of reminds me of the, um, what is that one? It's something teak wood from Bath and Body Works. I'll put the name on the screen. Of course, I can't remember it when I'm filming. Um, but it reminds me of that, that particular candle and it smells just like it and it's a smaller version of course. Of course, you can get the bigger one. I think that one's like $10, three wick. It's a great dupe. It's a great, great dupe. Um, if you are into that particular one, I think it's mahogany teak wood. That's it. I got it, y'all. I got it. Uh, mahogany teak wood is the scent, and this one is a great dupe for that, and that is the charcoal and black teak wood. 
the hearth and home of course there were lots of those candles um usually with those though um the thing about them is they have a particular type of jar it's not your your usual glass jar um it's usually something a little more it looks kind of handmade um, clay pottery type jars or containers for their candles so if that's what you're into you definitely want to look into the to those candles we actually had one like that I still have the jar the container I've cleaned it out I'm gonna reuse it when I make my own candles or something like that because I didn't want to get rid of it they are wonderful to decorate your home with um, and they also are great scents as well um, but yeah, they have a big, big selection of hearth and home candles there. I really like the long kind of, um, oblong shaped candle. I think it had like maybe six wicks to it. I thought that was really neat, especially if you have a long candle or a long candle, a long table, or if you want to put it on top of your fireplace, like on the mantel, that would be great there as well. So um, they have some selections for that. And it ranges in prices, of course. I didn't look at all the prices for those because I had already picked out the candles that I wanted. So um, I didn't really look at those prices. So you guys, I think that's it. I think that's it. I've <laughs> showed you guys all the candles that I've seen at Target. They have some great dupes for Bath & Body Works and for Yankee Candle. Um, so I, I still like those places. I still like those brands. I'm still gonna get candles from them, but when I have a coupon and when they're on sale. Um, but in the meantime and in between time, you can go to Target, you can go to Walmart, get you some candles, affordable candles. That's what it's all about here on this channel. Um, and make sure you subscribe and thumbs it up. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. See you later.